welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong, and this is another quick video matching lipsticks and lip liners. And we're specifically looking at the Chanel Le Lyon lipsticks that I have, as well as the two new Velvet Extreme lipsticks from the spring collection. Starting off with a Le Lyon lipstick in number 227, Rouge Fauve. With Rouge Fauve, I like to pair it with the Chanel liner in number 188, Brun Carmen. And you can see that this is a burgundy. The colors do not match, but it adds a little depth. And because my skin is a little bit cooler than these undertones, it does help make it work a little bit better for my complexion as well. And I think it can make a beautiful ombre effect. Another shade I like to use with Rouge Fauve because I do not have a lip liner that's an exact match is a nude lip pencil. And this is deeper than my natural lip color, but this is Nude Brun from Chanel in number 162. And it just makes a great base. Moving on to another Le Leon lipstick. This is Rouge Triomphal. And you can see that this is a bluer based red. This is number 257, and this is definitely a cooler tone. I have several options here. My favorite match is actually Major from Pat McGrath. And you can see here that they have very similar undertones. Major is gonna be a little bit more pink than Rouge Triomphal, but they go very well together. The Lisa Eldridge Lip Liner in Ribbon is also a good match. You can see that this one is gonna be more of a fuchsia pink than Rouge Triomphal, but it also looks very nice underneath it. And a very similar shade to that is the Victoria Beckham Lip Liner in Red. For adding a little depth, you can go with this shade here from Pat McGrath. This is Night Fever. And let me just put it over here so that you can see that a little bit better. And that adds nice depth to it. I also like Brun Carmen for it, but it's a little bit deep. So unless you really want to change the color, it's not the best match. Next, we have number 58, Rouge V. Looking at the swatches we already have up here, you can see that out of these, I do not have a perfect match. I still don't. My favorite with this is actually 188, Brun Carmen. And here's Brun Carmen with it. So it's a little bit deep, but what I like to do is line my outer lips with it. And then you can either use the brush on the other end, or I can use my finger and kind of spread it out a little bit to make it a little bit lighter. And then it's a better match with that. I also like to do the nude bronze shade from Chanel with this one as well. Next we have 227 Beige Rougissant. And this one goes best with Nude Brun from Chanel or, so here's Nude Brun. You can see that Nude Brun is a little bit more brown and a little bit cooler in tone than Beige Rougissant. But the Sisley Nude Lip Liner is a better match for this. And you can see that it's pretty close. You know, it's not quite as light, not quite as, you know, pinky tone to it, but it's a pretty good match. Another shade that you can use under Beige Rougissant, this is from Chanel. But it's actually an eyeliner. It's the Stilo Ombre Contour in number 36. And this came out with last year's spring collection. It's Contour Mauve. Next is 237 Beige Ardent. My favorite shade with this is Pivoine from Chanel, number 164. And you can see that it actually goes fairly well. It's a little bit more a little bit pinker, a little bit rosier. And then I will also pair Nude Brun with it at times as well. So both shades there can give a slightly different effect to the lipstick if you fully color it in. From this year's spring collection, we have the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme number 136 in Pivot Noir. And with this, I like the 188 Brun Carmen to add a little depth. Lisa Eldred Ribbon for a closer match. Major from Pat McGrath for the closest match that I have. Victoria Beckham Red. And then I also like Night Fever from Pat McGrath to add a little bit more of a raspberry tone to it. Also from the spring collection, we have 134, a Closion. 
My favorite liner with this is from Chanel. This is 172 Bois de Rose. I also like Pat McGrath Bare Rose. It's a little bit different, but it's not going to impart too much extra color. And again, if you're in need of a lipstick and you do not have one that matches, you can always go with a nude liner or you can go with something clear. This is the Chantecai Lip Keep, which is a clear pencil and it's just, you can see how clear it is. <laughs> it's just meant to help your lipstick stay in place, but it will not impart any additional color. With deeper lipstick shades, I personally prefer to use a pigmented lip pencil to help create that stark line on the outside. But with the lighter shades, this is something nice and easy to use. I hope these swatches were helpful and please let me know what you think of these little shorts, if they are helpful or if you'd rather have them incorporated into a longer video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon.